I thank the Honorable Deputy Chair of the NCOP. I now invite the Honorable Cunevant to address us. Honorable uh, Speaker. Order, Honorable Members, Honorable Cunevant is on the floor. Thank you. Oh, Honorable Speaker, through you to the Honorable President. Achtbare president, u is nou 6 jaar die president van Zuid-Afrika. Maar is baie duidelijk dat u in hierdie 6 jaar een kleinserige president geworden is. Zuid-Afrika is nie geseen met baie wereldkampioene nie. U het die springbokke geluk gewens en een paar ander goeie prestaties op wereldvlak, maar u het nagelaat om vir Drikus de Plessie een wereldkampioen geluk te wens. Dit is kleinserigheid van u. Want hy het eindelijk gesê en kritiek uitgespreek wat die meeste mense van Zuid-Afrika weet, maar blijkbaar weet u dit nie. Nou ek wil vir Drikus de Plessie in hierdie parlement sê, baie geluk met jou wereldtitel. Dit is harde werk baie discipline en hard oefen. Honorable President, it is just natural... Okay, Honorable Member, I'm sorry, Honorable Kroenewald, please take a seat. Honorable Member, what is your point of order? Use, use your mic, please. Okay, they will bring the mic to you. What is that? Oh, thank you, thank you. Honorable member, uh, yes? Yes, yes, thank you, Honorable Speaker. I could hear the Africans that was said by the Deputy Chairperson of NCOP. But I can't hear these Africans. So we are requesting to get the gadgets for translation. That's, that's, it's quite important for us to hear. Honorable member, thank you very much for alerting us to the fact that you don't, but there are gadgets on your chairs. Thank you very much. Order! Honorable members, whoa, still there as a belief. Continue, Honorable Funevald. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. I think it's just natural that the President will look over his term, and I want to say today to him, Honorable President, what is your legacy? What's your legacy as President of South Africa? And therefore, we must go and look at the real facts. And if we go and look at the economy, we will see that when you became the President in 2018, the growth rate, the economic growth rate, was 1.3%. Last year, it was 0.9%. So under your leadership, the economy just retreated backwards, causing havoc for the people of South Africa. We had a meeting with you as leaders on ESCOM. And you yourself said, 20 years ago, ESCOM was seen as one of the best electricity utilities in the world. Who destroyed ESCOM? The ANC destroyed ESCOM. You were in charge of the war room to end load shedding. You failed. When you became president in 2018, the local currency against the dollar was nothing else then 11 rand 55. Yesterday, it was 18 rand 92. That's under your leadership. And if you go and look at the JSE and the loss of 22% in US dollars, while if you, for instance, look at the NASDAQ 100, they gained 147% under your term 
as a leader. And the S&P 500 gained 75%. Those are the realities. If you go and look at the unemployment rate, when you became the president, the unemployment rate was 24%. It is now 32%. If you go and look at the youth, since you became president, and over the years, it increased with 20%, where the unemployment rate for the young people, the youth, at this moment is actually 64%. I want to talk about corruption. Honorable Chairperson, or Speaker, the President himself said that the ANC is accused number one when it comes to corruption. And I said, well, that's what the President said. And I said to yourself, but you are number one of accused number one. And now you have a number two who's also accused of corruption, but nothing happens. What happened with corruption in South Africa? The fact is that your Secretary General, Fakile Mabula, he said, Mbab okay, 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 okay. Fakile Mbalula, he said that they lied to protect the former president, in terms of corruption. They must use, the ANC must use this position to defend and to protect the previous president. Honorable President, if you look up at the wall there, you will see there's a banner of Parliament Oversight and Accountability. There was no accountability. There was no oversight. And it comes to you as well, as the next president after Zuma, when they came to the Pala Pala issue, it was this ANC in Parliament who protected you. Why? You said you did nothing wrong. Why didn't you come forward and be accountable to the people of South Africa? I want to quote what the Archbishop Bishop Stanley Mahoba said. He said, and I quote, it is frightening to realize that as a society, we've become so worn down by lies, corruption, and incompetence that we are no longer interested in finding out the truth. We've been captured by lies, close quote. I want to talk about crime in South Africa. Honorable President, in terms of the Global Organized Crime Index, South Africa now ranks seventh in the world, third in Africa, because of mafia-styled criminal networks and organized crime syndicates. The murder rate when you became the president was 35 per 100,000 of the population. It is now 45 per 100,000 of the population. The achtbare president het in New York ontken dat daar so iets is soos plaasmoorde in Suid-Afrika. Ek moes een paar debatte met u gevoer het, nadat u minstens erken het, dat daar wel plaasmoorde is. En u het daarom een mate daarvan gesê dat u dit veroordeel. Achtbare president, ons sê ons is allemaal voor die recht. My vraag is, wat het gebeur in Groosdal? Die achtbare minister van politie en die achtbare minister van justitie gaan woon een gewone hoofdzaak by waar daar besluit moet word of daar buil gegee gaan word of nie. Het hulle nie werk om te doen nie? Hoekom gaan hulle soen toe? Hulle gaan soen toe, want hulle het een politieke motief. En daar die motief is om die voorzittende beamte te intimideer. Daar word nou van drie jong mense verwacht om te gerapporteer het, hulle het gerapporteer. Ek het persoonlijke klag geleid tegen Julius Malema in 22, sowel as in 23, waar hy eitings maak van shoot to kill. And the revolutionary must not be scared or afraid to kill. Die klag is geleid. Hoekom word hy nie gearresteer nie? 
dat hij ook gaan aanzoek doen, verborg. Hij is bezig onder die leiderschap om ongelijkheden te skep. Hierdie mannen het hulle self gaan oorgeer, hulle is gerechtig om borg te kry. Ek wil praat oor hongersnood. Achtbare president, die departement van gezondheid sê, dat ongeveer dat meer as 15.000 kinders sterf jaarlijks in Zuid-Afrika. En een derde van daar die kinders sterf as gevolg van honger. Dit beteken 10.000 kunnen sterf basis jaarlijks weens honger. In KwaZulu Natal, noord van Durban, is daar kinders wat sand eet, so dat hulle net kan voel hulle het iets in hulle maag. But you, honorable president, you have a plane named in KwaZi, and uh, I want to say that there is also a restaurant in that plane, the Inquasi restaurant, where you wine and dine at a rate of 24,000 rand per person. So you wine and dine with, for 24,000 rand per person in the Inquasi restaurant while children of South Africa are dying because of hunger. You, the commander in chief, that you investigate. If you did what was or what is the result, and if you did not investigate, why not? Because that means that you don't feel for the hungry people of South Africa. I want to say, and I again want to quote what the Archbishop said. He said, Meanwhile, as politicians begin to realize they may not be in power after the next election. Their deception, scams, and fraud grow more blatant by the day as they grow hungrier and hungrier for the ill-gotten proceeds of power. They walk shamelessly and brazenly with their dirty feet through every aspect of our South African lives. Close quote. I want to say again, with their dirty feet through every aspect of our South African lives. The message is clear, Honorable President. It's time to go. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Member.